guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Target exclusive Avengers Infinity War Winter Soldier and Falcon. Pretty pumped uh, to finally get this. I didn't know what exclusive it was going to be. I remember when I first saw the uh, Winter Soldier figure, uh, they were doing like hero acts. I'm not 100% sure what that was. I think it was just to donate to charity. Uh, I'm not too excited for this new Falcon figure. I'll definitely replace it on my display, and there's going to be a comparison. That's why I'm reviewing this, just because I don't want to let that go to waste. You know, I took him off display, and Falcon was in the very back. Luckily, I didn't knock anyone over, but I, I, I wouldn't mind if I had to, because I have a lot of uh, MCU figures to display now. Anyways, on the side, you can see Sebastian Stan looking very <laughs> tired. I saw. That's just a very tired looking Sebastian Stan. But, and then on the back, you can see the two figures looking pretty awesome. And then you can see the read up, if you want to read it, on it now. And there is Falcon on the side, looking more like a sketch. Uh, this looks more like an actual. Actually, I don't know, it looks like a sketch as well, maybe a painting. But yeah, there you go. And there's nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, I guarantee you. Anyway, let's get these guys opened up and see how cool they, they are. Alright, we got. Uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon out of the packaging, and yeah, man, I actually do really like these two. Um, especially Winter Soldier, he's a much better improvement off of the Civil War uh, Winter Soldier. I have a couple problems with the joints and the hands, uh, but other than that, it's pretty good. And the Falcon is definitely an improvement on the Civil War Falcon. And that's just paint apps. This is the exact same figure except different paint apps. But uh, they do both come with these guns. Um, let's take a look at the, you know, not real looking one. You know, if Trump supported, you know, guns like this that, you know, <coughs> don't exist, I'd be all for it. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, I was just watching Watch Mojo celebrities that like Trump. Or uh, whatever. Anyways. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this gun. I wish it was more realistic. Because um, he wasn't using this in Infinity War. But still, it looks alright. Uh, I, I just, I don't know. I prefer, you know, I kind of like that. That looks more real. He, I, he never used anything like this before. Maybe in the comics, but not in the movies. Anyways, it looks alright. You got some gold paint on it. and it's, it's Whatever, but... Um, the other gun, which I'm going to be giving Winter Soldier when I put him up on display, is a lot better than we've seen this before as well. Uh, we've seen this with the Punisher figure from the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure Wave. Oh, God. Uh, from the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure Wave. I like this a lot more than, you know, this thing. And, yeah, man, I, I'm definitely giving this to... Uh, Bucky, this just looks so awesome. I love the grenade launcher. Oh, by the way, fuck the NRA. Anyways, sorry if your views differ from mine. Anyways, yeah, so it looks pretty good. You get the flashlight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I do like this. And uh, the reason I'm, he's not gonna be, you know, unarmed. He's gonna have these uh, pistols. These blocks. Anyways. Uh, actually, let's take a look at uh, Falcon first. Uh, this figure is definitely an improvement and a, an update on the Civil War uh, Winter uh, Falcon. Look, ironically, the, you know, Falcon and Bucky, the previous figures, they're, they're uh, both Walmart exclusives. And uh, these are no, I believe they're Target exclusive. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, the wings look good. I love the wingspan, nice and big. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. I like the silver in there. This is much more vibrant looking. This is more dulled, which uh, I mean, I, I like the new ones a bit better. You know, I like the black rather than the you know the dark gray. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I prefer, you know, the new one more. I prefer this pack a little bit more. Maybe, I mean, not this part, but the red part. Definitely prefer the, uh, the older one first. 
But yeah, man, I don't know. I just like to know them better. So I guess that's some good improvement. It's the exact same thing, just different paint apps. Uh, and this comes off a lot easier. This one actually stays on, which I'm really happy about. Let's take a look at the head sculpts. Uh, like I said, it's just a retooling. It's nothing new. It's just the exact same figure. Which is fine, because this is definitely updated, because in the movie, in the Infinity War movie, he has a beard. Like a full-grown beard. This does not. This is just a goatee, which I think is accurate, but... That looks good, and this has a little loose, so... I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this. I might, I don't know, give it to a friend. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, but... I would love to create a second Marvel Cinematic Universe display, but I just don't have the room, so... Maybe I'll just keep it until... I do get room to have a second one, you know. But yeah, and like I said, exact same body mold. Except this is a lot better, I think. I just like the colors on this one better. And I think this does look like Anthony Mackie. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it just looks like him. I wish the goggles were either removable or you could see through them. I wish you could see his eyes. The gray looks good. Uh, you can see a lot of sculpted detail. You can see... This is more of a metallic cherry red color. I really like that. And yeah, man, I, don't know, I just I, I keep saying it. I do like this figure a lot more. Uh, I don't like how skinny the arms are. That's just too skinny. Anthony Mackie probably has very muscular arms. It's just I mean I don't know. He's an Avenger thing. Leave him alone. Anyways, uh, this is a bit loose. I'm noticing, but that's fine. Yeah, man, this guy is probably not going to be standing on my display, which is good, because he's kind of back-heavy, obviously. Uh, but he's going to be on my custom wing, I mean, flight stand, homemade with the friggin' iron, the wire coat hanger. But yeah, man, you can definitely get a lot of good poses with this figure. I do like the articulation on this. It's, you know, I do like the articulation on the other one, too. This is just a lot better. He can't look up. I wish he could look up a little bit more, but that's fine. He can look down just a tiny bit. He does have rotation and a bit of head tilting. Uh, his arms will move out like so. He can't do 360 without the wings, but you can, you know, move it freely. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the hand and hinge. There is an ab crunch that far forward, that far back. Waist swivel, hip joints move out like so. You can't kick out like so. Eh, it could be a little better, but he can't kick back. Thigh cut, double joint knees, boot rope, and no boot rope, teacher. Uh, the feet will hinge. It's a bit stiff on mine, which I don't really mind because it's not going to get loose anytime soon, but the feet will hinge and pivot. So, yeah, I do like this. I, I like this figure. And I know I keep saying it, but I like it a lot more than the uh, original one. Especially because the original one didn't come with any weapons, either. Oh, now I'm remembering where these Glocks came from. They came from the Agent Venom, Walgreens exclusive Agent Venom. Come on, Hasbro, what are you doing? Giving us real guns in the night. No, no, you're not. Anyways, here is the awesome head face scan of Sebastian Stan. <coughs> oh, boy. Yeah, man, this just looks spot on. Holy crap, that's scary. I remember when they announced this, I was super pumped. Uh, I was just like, that is an awesome, awesome figure. And I can't wait to pick it up. And I, was, I was like really afraid that I was going to be a very hard exclusive to find. But fortunately for me, I found it, so fairly easy. But yeah, this head sculpt definitely looks like it's taken from the uh, Civil War head sculpt. But they just retooled it. They just took it and then put the digital face printing over it. Which is fine. He's so pale. Like, the light is hard to pick up on him. But yeah, this, is, this looks like... Okay, remember that scene in Terminator where he's taking the bullet out of his eye or whatever? And, like, you see the mirror, sh like, you see his reflection in the mirror and it looks so fake. Like, that, this is what that looks like and that's, like, actually Arnie. Like, actually, Sebastian Stan would not be a bad Terminator. Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, man, like, 
this is like the mi he's looking at the mirror. You see him actually him, and then you see this in the reflection. You're just like, what the fuck? I mean, I think I know why they did that, but yeah. Anyways, I like this figure a lot more because he was not actually wearing all of this. Um, he was wearing, you know, more of a vest. With I, I have the I have the Diamond Select uh, Civil War Bucky, but. He's all the way across the room. But, yeah, I just... I don't know. I like this one a lot better. I mean, I do know. It's just... It's more accurate to the movie. It looks like it to me. This looks... This is clearly a reused body mold. The arms are reused. Uh, this... It got warped really easy. I did take some co hot water, cold water. And it worked. But... Uh, it could be used a little bit more... But yeah, man, I just, I was really disappointed in this figure when I caught it, and I, I am sure I didn't express it just because it was the only Bucky, I mean, it wasn't the only Bucky, but I do have another one that's pretty similar to this, so this is my favorite Winter Soldier figure ever, unless they produce a comic version, uh, but yeah, I had him holding, you know, this with the knife. Which, I can't get him holding the knife anymore because his hands are too big because I try to wedge the weapon that he comes with in, and it just wouldn't go in. Anyways. But yeah, man. Uh, they definitely retooled that old head sculpt into this new one. And it's like some lines on his face. I don't know what that's supposed to It's like, it I know it's not supposed to be there, because it's going into his eye. So, let me know if you guys have that on yours, but the, uh, the green eyes look good, too. I don't know. It's just, that's my one flaw uh, about the face. Uh, the, in the articulation, you can see how warped. This is, and I did try to use the hot water, cold water, so it didn't really work. This side's not so bad, but it's kind of loose, you can tell. But, uh, yeah, I, and I can fix that easy, that's no problem. But, yeah, I just love the way this looks right here. Let me just make my brightness a little bit brighter, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I love the blue. Here's the back of the figure. I'm not the biggest fan of this being gold. I, I just wish this was like, you know, looks like that. Maybe less paint, actually. Just, you know, make it silver and nothing else. Uh, but, yeah, man. I like the... I actually like the legs a lot more, too. This is... I don't know. I just really like the legs a lot more. The boots are definitely different as well. So this is just a completely new figure, and I love that. Anyways, articulation, the head... Well, oh, God. The head will look up like so. Could be a little more. Also, in the movie, I remember him having a lot more longer hair and more of a beard. So, whatever. I mean, I actually don't mind this head sculpt. It's a lot better than this one. But, yeah, his head will look up like so. He will look down some. Uh, his head will rotate side to side. He does have a bit of a head pivot. His arms will go out like so. Down. That's a bit difficult to deal with. It's just because the plastic's different. But the arms will go up. They can do 360. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the hand, and roll the dice motion. Is that on this side too? No, this is a hinge. There is an ab crunch that far forward, that far back. Waist swivel, hip joints move out like so. Down, you can't kick it like so. Back some, thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot rotation, and the feet will hinge. And pivot. So, yeah, man, I, I, I just, I, don't know. I, I really like this, this two pack. Maybe not worth $40, maybe wait around a little bit for it to go down a little, but it is still, it is, it is a great two-pack. So I'm going to attempt to get these other two figures up on here, just to show you the differences. And I'm moving the camera once I get this, just because uh, Falcon swing span is very, yeah. Uh, Wing spangy, I don't know, spanny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me get this like so, and yeah. So here is the comparison. She just, there you go. This one's a lot, definitely a lot shorter. The legs will make him a lot taller. I wish I grabbed the calf, but what? Actually, wait, wait a minute, I could. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, okay. So there's your comparison for the old older figures, but here is the Black Panther next to the White Wolf, what they call him in the movie. But there you go. That looks pretty good. I mean, I, we never really got to see them side by side, but 
So there you go. And then here he is next to his best friend that seem a little too close. Uh, but there, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Why? Why this head skull? I want to buy, you know, a custom one. Because I love this body mold. Uh, a lot of people just buy the SH figure arts. I don't think that looks <laughs> like him too much either. I mean, it looks a lot better than this, but I don't think that looks a lot better. You know, it, it does look better, but not that much better. Anyway, is there any more here that I can show off now? Not really. Anyways, yeah, so these guys were together on, um, in Wakanda. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, who else was there? Uh, Black Widow. Is Black Widow again? Oh, yeah, she is. Let me grab her. So here is Black Widow. She's alright, you know. She's alright. Uh, but yeah, so. Who else was there? Scarlet Wish, I don't own her. And, and Vision, I want to get the two pack. Of them, speaking of two packs. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this review. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And make sure you do. Subscribe to see a lot more content. I'm putting these away just because I'm not Having this guy up on display anymore. I'm putting the new one. So yep, it finally gets to Go retire. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that new cap. It's just it looks so hideous and I Have a cap up. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we're gonna do I'm not gonna put these in any dynamic pose just because it is getting pretty uh, late in the video anyways and you wonder why I put them on the display, on a flight stand. Anyways, I'm going to restart with everything I said. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And make sure you do subscribe to see a lot more content. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my Funko Monster channel. Because I do post a lot over there. Uh, not a lot. Not as much as this channel. Anyways, uh, so make sure you subscribe over there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.